He'll be two years. He'll be here two years from now. But uh, Caleb Downs, he's one of my best friends. I mean, the guy, very high football IQ, and honestly, testament to the guy's character. When he first came to Alabama, we had a whole room. They said, "Give us something that you're going to accomplish while you're here." Caleb walked up there. He said, "I'm going to be the best safety that ever come through here." So that just shows you the type of guy he is off the off the wall. I mean, he works hard. He's a great person. He's my brother. Everything Pat does, he does it extremely well. So with that being said, I used to go back and watch his old tape, how he practiced. And at Alabama, we like to say Pat is a robot. No matter who he's guarding, it could be Devontae Smith, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. He's going to step, step, get his hands on him, and he never panics. So, I mean, Pat, he's the best cornerback in the game right now. Yes. I actually talked to him around this time coming up. Uh, we were at Jordan Battle's draft party. And I told Pat as I was watching the draft party with him, I said, coming out next year, I'm going to be the best corner in the class. That was a good one, but um, I would say, nah, I don't look at the clock when I'm working out. I just let Yo Murphy control that. My mindset, anytime I line up, or it doesn't matter who I'm going against, I'm coming to dominate. I mean, we're all at the combine, you here, our eyes are on me, and I perform. It's why you go to Alabama. Uh, so Kool-Aid and I, man, we're very close-knit, very tight. So, I mean, when I'm looking at him, if he's on the right side and he just made a play, I'm like, okay, man, if they throw this ball my way, I got to make a play. So it's friendly competition. We challenge each other and we make each other better. And that's why we're both here. Is that somebody that Devontae connected me with? Nah, honestly, uh, my teammates, Jalen Miro, Kendrick Law, guys like that, they went down and trained with him last year. And Jalen coming back, him being my best friend and me trusting him, he told me I had to get connected with him, and I did. You said what, man? Have I met with the Texans? Yes. They went very well. I like D'Amico a lot, man. You know, Alabama alumni. Uh, Will Anderson's there. So, I mean, it's, it's a very good group there. They have a lot of good things going on. Have I had a chance to meet who? Yes, sir. He's a guy full of energy, man. When I walked in the room, he was like, are you an energetic person? I was like, you know I am, man. Cut on the tape. He was like, man, I like you already. So, I mean, it went very well. Yes, sir, I met with them. Playing next to Pat, it would be like playing next to Kool-Aid. I mean, you would have somebody at the next level that you could look at that would challenge you, push you to be better. And, I mean, he's already proven in the NFL, so I would love to do that if I had the opportunity to do that. Uh, when I'm on the field, honestly, on defense, I feel like I can play any position, especially any position in the secondary. So with that being said, when I line up in the slot, I know I'm kind of like an outside linebacker. I have to feel the run, I have to set edges, take on blocks, and I have to cover. When I'm outside that corner, man, I'm thinking about guarding my man, making plays for my defense, and uh, getting the ball back. Uh, I just met with the Steelers yesterday, and I mean, I know you talk about Minka, man, so he the GOAT. We roommates. So, I mean, when I went to sleep, that was the person that I went to sleep, and I told him, I said, you know, we're blessed to be here. When we woke up, man, it was kind of like at Alabama. Before games, after games, I mean, that's my brother. Like, I know with the media, I mean, I even told a lot of coaches, like, they like to pair us up against each other. And with that being said, we laugh at it. Because, I mean, that's my brother, and we work hard. We play for each other. Uh, we grew up around each other, and we really had a chance to build a bond that would last a lifetime. I love him. <laughs> 99. I mean, I know uh, NCAA, man, they, they might try to play with me. But uh, honestly, with everything I've done, I feel like I should be a 99. Who, who should be on the cover? Jalen Miro. No, sir. Jermaine Burton. Our practice reps are crazy. It's like game reps. I mean, Jermaine, I like to say, 
he can do a lot of different things that people haven't even seen. Uh, he's a very fast guy, so just know, like, when he gets down to run this 40, you will see. He got gas. He could go. I mean, he's a player first coach. So uh, Mike Tomlin, he actually uh, coached our defensive backs coach and uh, former defensive backs coach Tavares Robinson. So with that being said, I mean, he's one of those guys. He does whatever is in the best interest for his player. I mean, Uh, going in Alabama, with me playing star, I used to watch Minka's tape all the time. I mean, Coach Saban, we had a thing called cut-ups. So, I mean, when we looked at the cut-ups, Minka was on every single one of them. So. DeMarco Helms? Ah, oh, man, that's my boy. Uh, I, I spoke with DeMarco actually last week, just asking him about the combine experience, how it's going to be, and different things like that. He told me he loves in Atlanta. I mean, you guys got a playmaker in him. I have met with the Falcons. Uh, at my at my former high school, St. John Paul, I was very fortunate and very blessed to uh, play with my younger brother. So we had 19 freshmen, and we ran a defense called Funnel the Ball to Terion. So <laughs> that safety background, hard hitting background, that comes from high school and just growing up and playing. So when I got there to Alabama and I made the transition from safety to corner. I knew that I could still be a safety, but at the same time, playing corner, I had to have eye discipline. I had to lock in, and I'm, I'm a very cerebral person. So, like, my cerebralness comes from my dynamic background, the structure that I came from. And at Alabama, man, we're around a lot of intellectual guys, and I like to say we're around a lot of geeks, a lot of nerds. I got with my guy Bert, shout out to Caleb Downs. I mean, we got together every day. So with that being said, just making the transition, I became smarter. Been at the NFL Combine? It's deja vu. I've already seen it in the dream. I was in front of y'all, talking to y'all, and uh, this moment to me, it means everything. Cause I'm, a, I'm the type of person that really loves football. And I, uh, I just feel like I'm very blessed and highly favored. So I mean, I give all the glory to God. And um, it's just a testament kind of my faith, the way I was raised. And I always like to say my favorite Bible verse is Matthew 25, 12. And it just talks about he who humbles himself shall be exalted, and he who exalts himself shall be humbled. So I humble myself. I treat everybody with respect. I know to treat the janitor like the CEO. You never know who you'll come in contact with. And at the end of the day, man, you just want to give your family a good last name and try to leave a legacy. Honestly, I'll tell you this. At Alabama in 2022, my red shirt freshman year, after we played Tennessee, I got benched. And I've been telling all the NFL teams that that right there, it changed everything for me. I kind of like to say I had my Michael Jordan moment. I write it down every day. Eli Ricks, that's my brother. But I mean, when I got benched and replaced for him, it motivated me. I write it down every day and say I refuse to ever let that happen again. And that's what's going to lead me and uh, take me to getting that gold jacket, which is the Hall of Fame. The gold jacket, and I ain't talking about the one you could buy. So that, that moment right there from then on, I refuse to let that happen ever again. It's very important. If you have a college, that's, um, if you have a corner that's extremely physical and can contribute in the run defense, he can play in the boundary. He can play to the field. You know, if they run jet sweeps, you know, if they uh, this game is all about RPOs, so they're running a lot of bubbles. You know that he can make those plays and make those tackles, take on blocks, set the edges of defense. I mean, it's extremely important, and you need to have it in your defense in today's game. <laughs> my confidence fuels my performance. Honestly, man, playing corner, you have to have that. And that comes from uh, my granddad. So my granddad was a roofer. So with that being said, I like to correlate roofing to football. My granddad always told me on the roof, T.A., he called me T.A., Terry on, he say, no one's coming to save you. So when I'm on that roof and I'm on that 8, 12, 10, 12, and it's a high pitch walking up there, you slipping on the fiberglass, you kind of get a little rocky, get a little shaky. You know that if you lose confidence in yourself, you're going to slip and fall. It's the same way with playing corner and being a human being. If you don't have that type of confidence to come in and take over a room and have that presence, nobody else is going to have that confidence in you. So that's where I get it from. Yes, sir. When I first got there, uh, when I first got there, um, just being around Malachi Moore, I would say uh, 
going against guys like Jamison Williams. When he first got there, Jamo, I was a freshman coming in. He came from Ohio State, so he was with the threes and he was with me. So when I was guarding him and kind of hanging with him, he ran by me a couple times. But when I was guarding him and hanging with him, I said, I can hang with anybody. And, then, I mean, we found out later, Jamo was the best receiver in college football that year. When I first got there to Alabama, Josh Joe, he was one of those guys that took Kool-Aid and I in. And uh, my relationship with Eli Ricks, man, is second to none. I always say this, like, Eli is one of the most humble people you can meet. He walks in, man, he's a very confident person. And at the end of the day, man, Eli is a person I was able to formulate a bond with. And he cares about me, I care about him, and we have a true brotherhood. It meant everything. T. Rob, I like to say he's very real. He's a player first coach. And, um, man, just him being able to help my game and the growth and the significance of it, I mean, you saw it on film. I mean, from 22 to 23, working with T-Rob, meeting with T-Rob, and him knowing the continuity that we need to have as a team with his wife. Shout out to Miss Mandy, man. Her cooking for us on Thursday, us going over there, having that brotherhood, man. It led to the confidence that we went out there and executed on Saturday. I lost confidence in 10th grade. 10th grade, I had an ankle injury. I broke my ankle in 10th grade, and I would say I was at a very low point in my life started to doubt myself and uh my granddad my mother like uh they picked me up so with that being said just from then on i never lost it after that because i know what it's like to be at on be on top and lose it all so with that being said in this world they just build you up because they want to see you fall so i never get too high i never get too low Honestly, it's normal. I mean, other than going to bed late. I wake up at 5 o'clock, write my goals out, get to work. Jalen Miro and, uh, Jaylen Miro and myself, uh, Jalen, he always was the first one to the facility at Alabama. So I would try to beat him there. We kind of had like our little Kobe Bryant competition going on. I would try to get there at like 5 o'clock. We had workouts at 6.30. Jalen Miro, he would be in there at 3.30. I was like, man, I love the game of football, but I need sleep. <laughs> I ain't going to be there that early. So uh, it, ain't, it ain't really nothing to me, man. This is how I live my life. So honestly, uh, what was natural for me was a free safety. So I played free safety in high school, and I feel like my range is second to none. I could play free safety in uh, any defensive scheme. And with that being said, I get my physicality. Like I told you, we, run a deep, we ran a defense called Funnel the Ball to Terion, so I'm already physical. And then that corner, man, corner is just natural for me. My granddad always told me, Terion, you're a corner, you're a lockdown corner. So I feel like I can guard anybody, and I can impact the games from there. So I can play any position in the secondary. Have I met with who? No, sir. Uh, as of right now, 17. I got 25 in total. Yes, sir, I met with them. <laughs> it went really good. They wanted to see how I pressed. He told me to get up there and demonstrate my press technique. I said, Coach, do you want me to hit you for real? He said, yeah, hit me for real. So I hit him. <laughs> yeah, I jammed him. I would say, man, just go to somewhere that fits you. So for me, Alabama, I had Georgia, I had other schools. I went somewhere where I could develop. And with you, man, you can play safety or play corner. I mean, you can see it. You got that dog in you, me looking at you, you looking in my eyes. You can tell, real recognized, real. So you one of them ones. Yeah, what's that Madden rating you going to give yourself? Coming out right now? Right now, what is it? They might try me, man. They might try to give me like a 78. <laughs> but I feel, like, I feel like after year one, I'm in the 90s for sure. Thank you guys.